It's moving! The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh! What is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George! It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly! The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me! 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 me, me. <laughs> All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar. That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. <laughs> Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! <laughs> we are butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro. <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. Wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <coughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chick Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me, me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But... Pepper, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then you could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> Super 
potato. potato. Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! <laughs> it is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr. Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr. Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr. Bull. You look sad. Well. I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No, really? Did you hear that, Dr Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> what wonderful cards, children! I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy! We made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy. Oh, lovely. Pepper and George have arrived home. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. For me? Yes, Valentine! <laughs> Fantastic. Did you get a card for Mummy yet? No, not yet. Ah, Mr Zebra, busy day? A very busy day indeed. Look at this sack full of Valentine's cards. Have you got a card for me? No, I haven't got a card for you. Oh. I've got a whole sack full. Ooh. There are hundreds of Valentine's cards, all for Daddy Pig. Hooray! Daddy Pig, who sent you all these Valentine's cards? Oh, it wasn't you. No, I sent you this one. With love from Mummy Pig. Who sent all the rest? Um... Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy! 
Daddy Pig. Pig. Everyone has sent Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop the melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -huh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle! Wow! Come on, George! Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially the... <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right! Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right! Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? He asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes! A cabbage. Fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes! A tomato. Fruit or vegetable? Vegetable! Fruit! A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No! A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please! Call a friend. Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Elephant. Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant. Hooray! It's for you. Hello. Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. 
So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Watch this. <laughs> 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 Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow. wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness. Where did this hole come from? Daddy! Daddy! We found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel! Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello! Police station! Hello! It's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, Nina! to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. <laughs> Pepper, George, Ow. careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Pepper, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> You're making music. Wow! George has a bucket. <laughs> 
Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> <laughs> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There. Oh, wonderful shaking music, Pepper. <gasps> It goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. <laughs> very funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madam Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madam Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. Wow! <laughs> the parents have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh. Children, I will start and then you join in. Parents like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Susie! Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> 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 Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space! <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur! Dinosaur! Grrr! <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman! Hello, hello, hello! What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> In a big house with fountains and a swing, <laughs> and I will marry Pedro or Danny, and I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello, and all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> But who will look after all these children? We will. Bed time, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Let's get building. What are we going to build? A present for Dr. Hamster to help her get fit. We'll need these and this. I'm not forgetting this. And a little bit from this washing machine. How can you make a present from this pile of rubbish? It's not rubbish, Mummy Pig. This is an excellent ladder. 
And so is this one. <laughs> Are you making a roundabout? No. Are you making a paddling pool? No. What do you think it's going to be, George? Dinosaur. No. I just need to wrap it up. Grumpy Rabbit is wrapping the present. Finished. Hooray! It's the biggest present ever. Yes, it's too big to fit in the car. That's all right. We can roll it. Grumpy Rabbit has rolled the present all the way to Dr. Hamster's surgery. What's that noise? We've got a present for you, Dr. Hamster. Oh, thank you. Hey, I wonder what it is. Why don't you open it and find out? All right. Oh, that's lovely. Eh, uh, what is it exactly? I just need to fix it in place. Get in and jog. All right. <laughs> This is amazing! <laughs> it's a hamster wheel! Yes! Every hamster should have one! Dr. Hamster loves hamster wheels. <laughs> Every hamster loves hamster wheels. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? Where to the bottom. <laughs> Pepper has reached the top. Quick, Daddy! I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah, you're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Pepper and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. <laughs> Then we can use the lift. Ooh! I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find Peppa! Susie! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Peppa, look what I've got. <laughs> Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah! Oh, I missed it again! <laughs> you have a funny face! <laughs> <laughs> and the last one? Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time. Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! <laughs> Madam Gazelle, can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. Okay. The bread goes in here. 
and we push this lever down, the toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Copla! Ooh! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm ready. Ready. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again! Again! Again. No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. <laughs> I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> 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 I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone <laughs> has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam! Toast, toast, toast! Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to... Oh, where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today I am a caveman. Ooh! Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely! Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too! Let's gather berries! Yes, yes berries! Mmm, mm. strawberries! Mm. Ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone Agey thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes! yes! Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho, oh, ho. I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> We're coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me. Yes, we will. We <laughs> 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 got you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. 
Mummy's ready? Steady! Go! Mummy Dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose. And Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on! Water on! Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit and the fire is out! Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes! Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on! OK! <laughs> It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! yes. And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Yee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire! Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy! Are you alright? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Pussy, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah! Oh. Let's play! Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh! Ready? Ready! Run, Susie! Run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick! Get the ball! Get it! <laughs> I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> and now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bet and ball, Peppa. OK. Just try your best. Ooh. Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <gasps> Catch the ball! I'll get it. Let's Let's get, get the it. ball! Hooray! That's one point. The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it! 
It's going the other way! <laughs> Round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! <laughs> Did you catch the ball? No! Did you get it, Susie? No! Who's got it? I haven't got it! I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball! Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. Pop 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 potato. Pop 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 potato. Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. <laughs> What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. 
They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans liked making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. Let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <laughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. Look, Grandpa! Pigeons! Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Pepper, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should take it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK. If everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes, because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a muscle cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a muscle cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Ah, uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. 
cheese. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvelous! Lovely! Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> birthday party music, please! <laughs> <laughs> This is such fun! <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy! What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Pepper, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. <laughs> Pepper is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Oh! George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. 
Ho, ho. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you. While I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practising too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> bravo! Bravo! Ah. Oh. Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Peppa loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> no, is this the relaxation class? Yes, we're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello, welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me, just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Good. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker. Harmony, stillness, jump, 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 relax. <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? Yes, I think I will. Whee! 
This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> Wow! You both look the same! That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's okay. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at Playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm, try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <laughs> And the green grass with the green grass. <laughs> the jigsaw is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora? Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars. With flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie... I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. 